What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are back with sort of a hauls video. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update of where we're at right now on not only my project, but I got some customs to show off. I also have just kind of like some hauls to show off. Figured I'd make a quick video out of it. So today, man, we're going to be taking you through some hauls and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and dive straight into it, man. Some pretty cool projects to announce and talk about right here. So again, this is kind of like a My Damn Hauls a little bit because we do have some figures that we did pick up, which I want to showcase first. And the first thing I want to show off is the NWO Retro Tag Team Pack right here. As you guys can see, this is Ringside Exclusive. Did grab this using code MD Toys, but I didn't know that I ordered one separately. So I actually I, I have a loose copy and a mint on card copy. Didn't mean to do that. So I guess I'm going to be opening these, and that'll be pretty cool to see. But I did get these. You know, not not the most exciting thing. You know, I, I like the retros. They're not my favorite thing of all time, but you know, I, I enjoy them. You know, they're kind of a different thing outside the box. But all these up here are all mint on card, and that's kind of where my red. I do have some of the claws it hung up as well but that's where it about ends i don't really have any loose ones but i guess that that's going to change with this nwo pack because i'll have those loose and men on card let's take you guys through some of the stuff that i have picked up this week and last week so as you as you know we have been adding to the deluxe aggression cenas if you guys have any deluxe aggression john cenas that you guys are willing to trade with or part with i did get a few dms and i appreciate those people so much so i do appreciate that but we do have a couple of this copy right here can't remember the exact series off the top. I want to say it's the Series 9. I could be wrong, but we have a couple of those. We did get this one. Look at this right here, man. Look, look, look at this right here. I've gotten Elites like this before, but that is absolutely wild. Another thing I wanted to touch on with this is, if you guys will notice right here, right? This is something that Jax always does. And I know a lot of figure collectors and like people in general, when they do figure photography and things like that, they always do this. They mix arrows of Doctor of Thugonomics Cena with, with Chain Gang Cena. And you guys will see here, this is clearly a Chain Gang 2005-ish Cena. And they put the Word Life Brass Nux on his, on his hands right here. These are actually molded on here, so you can't remove those or anything like that. He never has worn, ever, John Cena has never worn, even like Jax used to do this. Mattel has done it before where they've kind of mixed it together. He's never worn anything Chain Gang related with the Word Life Brass Nux. It's never happened. Hasn't happened. But this one has some pretty cool shoes on it. These are probably the most accurate to his Reeboks that he was wearing. This is probably the most popular pair of Reeboks that he wore throughout those times. But you do have that version. This one right here, we have... With this one right here, it's just plain black shoes, which I appreciate. You know, I can... I, I don't mind this. I like this better than the, you know, the Mattel Elite Mold. So we'll definitely be using that as well. I got this one also. So this this is cool just because it has the cloth jersey, but it's not accurate. He never wore Chain Gang armbands with this jersey or anything like that. But it is cool. I like this figure. Another pair of these style shoes with the white outsoles. Then we also have this like 2007 version with the green shorts. And then he has the white and brown shoes which look really badass. So, so not only did I get this right here, but I also got an elite in green shorts. So we, we've we've had all these deluxe scenes for shoe molds and stuff like that. So I did get the green shorts deluxe aggression. And then I also got this through the door which is the Wrestlemania 34. Wrestlemania 23 John Cena with the green George. So I plan on probably fixing that. So what I'm planning on doing, probably on surgery, I don't know if it'll be tomorrow or another day, we're going to put double jointed arms like this from the Ultimate. I don't know. I'll probably use Elite 100 arms just so they're pinless. But taking some double jointed Cena arms, putting them on this WrestleMania Elite, and then putting the white shoes over there, and then adding a pair of all white bands to the guy. So that'll be a nice base of a Cena. So this Ultimate Cena right here, We'll be getting some work out of him onto a different figure. And also, coming in the mail, we have another one of these John Cena's that have the, you know, like the New Year's Revolution blue shoes when he got cashed in on that we did on the last episode of Action Figure Surgery, which was this fix up right here, you know, with the chain gang and it's got the blue shoes on there. I have another one of those on the way as well. And so I've basically just been buying Deluxe Aggression Cena's whenever I find them for a really good deal just for the shoe mold. I also had an order on eBay of three more Elite 100 John Cena's. Got a fantastic deal. It's like 25 bucks for three of them or something like that loose with their accessories not the championships but with their accessories and the guy canceled the order but he did refund me my money and it had been a week and it hadn't moved you know that you know when you put in a tracking number and it hasn't moved and it's like pre-shipment label received or whatever that figure those three figures in a package like hadn't moved in like five or six days so i hit him 
up and he's like, oh, well, if it shows up, you can keep the figures at no charge, but I'm going to refund you mo your, your money. So he refunded my money, but I, you know, I, I didn't get the figures, but he said if they showed up, that would be awesome. You know, so if they end up showing up, that'll be cool, but I didn't really want to cancel the order, but I guess he was just, I, I don't know. I don't know what was going on with that situation, but updates on the scene is they're all going good. You know, we got lots to be made and stuff like that. And also I picked up some resin and some, uh, some silicone rubber and I plan on trying to cast. If anybody has any advice on casting or anything like that, I plan on casting some John Cena hats and armbands. So that way I don't have to buy the full figure anymore. I could just cast copies of the hats themselves. And that way that would save a lot of money. I think just buying the, doing some copies and some resin and stuff like that. So the 3d printing thing, probably not going to happen. 3d printing them is probably going to be way more expensive. So I just plan on cat. I'm casting them. I'm going to, I'm just going to do some casting and stuff like that. But all our scenes are good. We, we got quite a copy, a few copies here. And I look forward to making fix-ups with them and stuff like that. So there's all of our scenes lined up so far. We also, just this week, I know I touched on it, but I wanted to show them off. We did have the Elite 101 Cody Rhodes. We got three of those from Amazon. $15 a piece, so I figured why not go ahead and grab these. Some of my favorite figures this so far this year is the Cody, Cody Rhodes Elite 101. This one, right out of the packaging, you guys can see that on the knee joint right there. This, this leg would not move whatsoever, so I actually had to do some surgery on him off camera to get his leg to move. Now he's like good as new but he does have a little bit of paint chip i guess some factory glue got on him or something like that but that is what happened with the elite 101 cody rhodes figures here's another project that i am working on it is the updated cash in seth rollins so my buddy dan turnquist he actually made these seth rollins belts right here that are 3d printed and i this is kind of like a prototype because i actually want it to be a bit bigger so we're going to get this bigger and then it does strap around the waist. I think I'm going to glue this into place once I get the official size. Once I get the size that I want, I'm going to glue that in place right there. And then I've also put some like AEW sting hands in here to give him that like glove mold, as you guys can see there. And you guys can see what's kind of coming together here. So I'm going to acetone and paint all this. It'll be black and gold just like his cash in gear. And then I am going to put probably the Greatest Hits Series 2 Seth Rollins head sculpt on there. I do believe the Greatest Hits figures are about to arrive. So if you guys want to pre-order those or get any of those in. I do believe they should be arriving in the next week or so, the Greatest Hit Series 2 from Mattel and WWE. So that is another project that I've been working on there. And then I also have these customs that were commissioned by my buddy Ty Goodridge. He is a patron, and he is also longtime family member of the channel here. So he wanted a pair of of Young Buck Customs, so I used the two-pack from Amazon. I replaced the torso with the Series 3 so that it have some white wrist tape, and then I came in with, uh, with some white, and I covered all of the lime green. So you guys can see here, really clean. I love the way the zebra print and everything came out. So you got like the pink and white mismatch on the black tights. Really like the way those came out. So there is Matt. And then here is Nick's tights, which are obviously just the same thing, but they're, you know, they're the opposite. They're there, so we got the white tassels in there. I don't know why. Why didn't I just go in the backstage area? I should have obviously just went in the backstage area to show these off, but I just wanted to kind of make a recap video of all this stuff. But here is the Nick Jackson. So we have both Young Bucks. Then we have my personal favorite, which is probably this Kenny Omega. And it's basically just like a fantasy gear. And it looks, it looks like the Unmatched Series 1. It's, I'm going to grab one so I can show you. So here is Ty's like fantasy attire that I made. And then you have the Unmatched Series 1. You have a bunch of white, silver, and black in there. They look very, very clean. I, I love the way it looks up next to each other. But you are you have a lot more detail and stuff going on with the uh, with the personal pair here, with the personal attire. So yeah, I'm really proud of the Kenny Omega. I like the white and everything going on with that. And he's got the white shoes in there. I thought this was a pretty clean figure. I like this a lot. Always feels good to complete some customs. And then he also wanted a Chris Masters and he liked the pink gear so we went with this pink Chris Masters you have the M with the uh, with the biceps flexing and then you have the CM on the back there for Chris Masters got the black boots Bobby Roode entrance greats knee pads which really look good on here so I like the Chris Masters figure a lot I think it turned out badass so there we had all of Ty's customs we had the retro pack and then we had all of these John Cena's and just some different projects and things that I loaded up on this week that I want to showcase to you guys but I believe we have another surgery coming tomorrow, so it should be really fun. Can't wait to, you know, fix up those, do all those different things. Fix up some Cena's, get some good stuff going. I got a figure head in for my boy Paj Customs coming in as well, which makes a figure that I hated look heavily better, and I can't wait to show that to you as well. But if you guys missed our ranking of all the Ultimate Edition figures, definitely go check that video out. It was a ton of fun to make, but I think that's pretty much going to wrap this video up, man. Again, just wanted to do a quick update with you. Before we get out of here, a huge shout-out to our patrons of the MDT YouTube channel. Thank you guys so very much for watching. 
Hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys are interested in becoming a Patreon member, definitely click the link in the description below and check it out. That is going to wrap this video, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you in the next video. We'll never back down. We will not relent.